Hello everyone, uh, in this uh, short video I'm going to show you how to share the serial ports uh, of your radio uh, in Windows. Uh, eventually I will cover how to do this in Linux too, uh, but this, that, this is going to be in a separate video in the, in the future. Uh, also in this video I will not cover any uh, audio settings. Uh, audio settings uh, uh, from the computer will be covered also in a separate video in the future. There are uh, two pieces uh, of software that um, are needed and they are free that, uh, that you need to install in your computer uh, to share your, your, the serial ports. Uh, the first one is the, the Virtual Serial Port Emulator uh, and the other one is uh, OmniRig. OmniRig version 1, uh, the latest version 1. Uh, additionally, uh, and this is not required, this is if, only if you want to do push to talk or PTT via uh, the, the mouse or your keyboard, you will need to install an application called Auto Hotkey, which is also free. And I'm going to provide the script uh, to, to achieve the, um, the, the PTT via the, the middle button of the mouse, the, the, the wheel, or um, what I use is the, um, the, cal the calculator key on the keyboard. Uh, I, will leave, I will leave the links to all the software required uh, for this uh, on uh, the video comments for you to, to find them easily. All right, now depending the, the type of uh, radio that you have, you may have uh, one or two serial ports, right? Uh, in my case, uh, I have an, an Yesu FT991 Alpha. I have two serial ports. Uh, one serial port, or, or the, what is called an enhanced serial port, is for uh, CAT, is for controlling the radio. And the other serial port that the radio offers is for um, serial um, communications uh, like um, FSK and PTT. You do that serial port. And that serial port is called standard serial port. So those are the two serial ports that, that you can virtualize and, and allow multiple applications to access uh, at the same time. So that is achieved with the, um, the virtual serial port emulator. And when you do that, you, can, you allow uh, programs that are not uh, compatible with OmniRig. We are going to talk about OmniRig uh, after to access directly uh, the, um, the ports and simultaneously, which this is what we try to achieve here, access simultaneously without locking the serial port um, directly. Uh, there are uh, applications um, that can share access to the, to the serial port via OmniRig, uh, but um, if you don't have this layer, the virtual serial port emula emulator layer, uh, OmniRig it will try to do the same thing that they, they, these programs uh, do. When, they, uh, when OmniRig grabs the normal serial port of the radio, it will lock the serial port and it will not allow any of these other programs to access to, through the serial port. Uh, so, how we uh, provide access to, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 programs at the same time to uh, your radio serial port is through those two uh, applications, Virtual Serial Port Emulator and OmniRig. Okay, the, those are kind of two separate layers. Uh, the, the virtual serial port emulator, it, it talks directly to your uh, radio serial port. And OmniRig, uh, OmniRig is a layer uh, on top of that, as you can see here on, on, on this chart. Uh, they, are, they are software, like for example, uh, I use uh, Log for All Men or uh, WSJTX. Uh, um, um, in here, that they, they are compatible with OmniRig and they can access simultaneously the radio via OmniRig. But if at the same time, for example, you try to run um, FLDG uh, without having the virtual serial port emulator, uh, you can't, right? Because OmniRig or FLDG will capture your, your radio serial port and it will not allow access to the other applications. I hope that, that that is clear, and I hope that um, that the, this is uh, um, the point that we try to solve here, right? How to provide sim simultaneous access through um, 
uh, those two applications to all the software that you want to run in your computer and access uh, to your radio. So, uh, how do we do that? Let's take a look. Uh, first of all, uh, let's start with the first layer, the virtual serial port emulator. As uh, you can see, this, this is the icon. I have it already running in, in here. So this is uh, the virtual serial port uh, emulator running in here. And I have a map. I have map the, the physical COM7 or serial port 7 into a virtual COM9 port. And why I did that? So first, let, let, let's take a look at how are my serial ports coming from the radio to the computer. To do that, we go uh, and we open the device manager. So we open the device manager. And we go through the, um, the ports section in here. So let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. So, like I mentioned before, uh, in uh, as you can see here in the, in the list at the at the bottom of this list, you see the COM7, which is the enhanced uh, COM port from the radio from the FT991 Alpha, and below that you can see COM8, which is the standard COM port. Those are the two serial ports um, that are presented uh, in the computer coming from the radio. Those are the real ports, right? So um, what I did, I uh, virtualized the COM7 port, which is the enhanced port, which is the port for CAT, right? For uh, controlling the radio. So uh, uh, like I say, like I, sh I show you here, I use uh, the physical COM7 into a virtual port COM9. And that COM9 port is uh, the port that I uh, point that is here, here, here it says COM11 because this is a, a old uh, a chart, but in my case is uh, is the COM9. Uh, so to COM9, I point Omnirig and any of these other applications that I want to access uh, uh, on my radio. Okay, now how, uh, how we can create um, a serial port? As you can see here, in in uh, in the virtual serial port emulator, I already have one for my CAT port, but I, like I mentioned before, I don't have one for my PTT port yet. So I'm gonna show you how to create one. So uh, COM7 is the enhanced COM port for for CAT. I for the PTT port, and and uh, again, this is uh, optional. You don't have to do that if your radio can do PTT via CAT. Uh, if not, if you need a separate port, or if you, for any reason you want to split that port too, uh, for PTT or for FSK, like uh, in my case uh, with the FT991 Alpha, you can split this one too. So in my case, it's COM8. So I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm coming here to the virtual serial port emulator. I'm gonna create uh, a new device. I'm gonna say the device is a splitter, right? Because this is what we want to do, split the port and allow multiple access. So we select splitter. In the next screen, we pick what is the, the virtual port that the um, um, assignation that we want to give. So the, the first one that looks like it's free on my computer is COM4, but I would like to use COM11 for this, right? So you can, you can choose whatever you want. So I select COM11 for that. And I, for the source serial port, that is the, 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 the serial port from the radio, which I see here is COM8. So I select COM8 and I don't change anything else. I just hit finish. That's it. I don't need to do anything else. And it's ready. I have the, the, the now I'm sharing, I'm splitting the, and I'm virtualizing the two serial ports coming from my, my radio. The CAT is COM, com, the virtual port is COM9 and the PTT and the FSK um, serial port is COM11. So now uh, we have created this uh, layer of the um, of the solution, which is this one here. We have created the, the two virtual serial ports. 
And the next step before you configure uh, anything else, all your software, is to configure OmniRig to use the virtual port that we created for CAD. So how we do that? Of course, we need to have um, OmniRig installed. And um, I'm, I'm not going to cover how to install OmniRig, the virtual serial port, because this is very easy. It's like installing any other software. I'm just going to um, bring up the, the OmniRig um, screen. So let me search OmniRig in here. So I'm going to click OmniRig. And uh, it's loading. As you can see here, uh, let me zoom a little bit. Uh, th this is this. Those are the Omni Ring, uh, Omni Rig uh, settings. Uh, the rig type, of course, is FT nine nine one A. In my case, the port is uh, COM nine. Is the virtual serial port that I created um, uh, in in VSP. Uh, and I have set up the maximum uh, uh, baud rate, the maximum speed that um, that the port allows here and on the radio, right? Uh, the the, the baud rate uh, should be the same value, and the the rest of the settings uh, are pretty pretty much standard values. I I didn't uh, have to change uh, anything. Uh, and by the way, with Omni Rig, you can you can control uh, uh, two radios also. So I have only one controlling now, the Rig One, but you can have Rig One and, and Rig Two. So uh, once you do that, uh, you have that configure, uh, that uh, allows you to, um, to set up the rest of the software. So I'm going to show you how to set up um, log for all men and uh, WSJTX uh, with OmniRig to control the radio. And we will see now how that works. So I brought up uh, the log for all men application. I go to settings, program configuration, and cut interface. And you can see here, let me zoom in. Cut engine is set up to OmniRig. Okay, so my recommendation is if uh, if your application, any application that you try to use for ham radio for your station, uh, in the CAD setting, it supports OmniRig, choose OmniRig, okay? And uh, for the, um, the applications that they, they don't support OmniRig, uh, then you will have to select the, um, the radio and the COM port, uh, the virtual COM port that we created, which I'm gonna show you when we look at the other applications. So I selected OmniRig, and the, um, the one thing that um, also, um, um, log for for all men uh, provides is uh, you can PTT with a key, right? So if, if you have uh, log for all men running, uh, I set up the the um, the tilde key, which is the the top uh, um, left corner uh, on your keyboard. Key, and when you press that key, the uh, the radio we will go switch to transmission mode, and and um, you can operate like almost hand free um, the radio in that way. Okay. So let let let's uh, take a look at the radio and let's see how all this works together. I want to bring up the the radio camera. Let me do that. Let me let me bring it up for you. So as you can see here, uh, in the radio, I have uh, the same frequency uh, that is showing in, um, in a log for all men. And I can tune from here, if I click here, and you will see the radio following uh, the, the frequency, right? So you can tune, I can go uh, any frequency that I want. And uh, the other thing I can transmit, right? So I'm gonna go back to, to here. Uh, there, you can see the radio is in receive mode. Uh, this is the green LED on the radio on. And when I press the tilde on my key, you see the radio goes into TX mode.
All right, so everything works. Uh, I can key the radio with the um, with the tilde key from my keyboard, and I can change uh, the um, the frequency from here. And I, I, of course, if I log a QSO, you see here it will read the mode, everything, all the settings from the radio, and I will that be recording uh, that on the on the QSO. Okay. So now in this part, I'm going to show you how to set up um, WSJTX uh, with, uh, with OmniRig and um, how everything works together. In, in the background, I have still my log for all men running just to show how everything works together. So we go file, settings, and then um, if you remember, I, I mentioned uh, the OmniRig that you need to install is OmniRig version one is because there are two versions of OmniRig. There is the original uh, version one and it's also Omni, OmniRig version two. But uh, I found that the version one is uh, most compatible with all programs and with most of the programs. So I, I, I prefer to use the version one. There are two separate, it's not the same OmniRig, there are two separate applications and they are not compatible between them, okay? So I choose OmniRig version one. And I have my, my uh, also, I, if you remember, I mentioned that you can PTT via CAT or you can PTT via serial port. So we, we're going to try both, right? So uh, OmniRig now is set up uh, to, um, to PTT, uh, sorry, WSJTX uh, is set up to use OmniRig and PTT via CAT. And we are going to test CAT first just to make sure it connects. So I click the button, it's green, you see it's connecting. And when I click test PTT, the radio skin you can see here on lock for all men is showing me that is uh, on TX mode, so it, everything works as expected. So I'm gonna click OK here for now. I am. Um, you see the frequency automatically in 20 meters switch to 14074, and here you can see also uh, uh, lock for all men is reading uh, the frequency correctly. Uh, the last test is in case that uh, for some reason you want to. Um, to PTT via um, serial port, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that um, using the, the the virtual serial port that I created. If you remember, COM11 was uh, a virtual serial port that I map to the real serial port COM7. So I, I put COM11 uh, here and... All right, now we're gonna see uh, if we uh, test cut. If, it's, if it if works, it's green, it's working. And uh, let's see if we can um, transmit via CAT, PTT is CAT now. So I, I click test PTT, you can see the radio now is in TX mode. I um, stop uh, um, the PTT test and I'm gonna show you now uh, how we can also PTT via RTS via the other serial port virtual that we created that it was COM11, if you remember, was the, the second serial virtual serial port that I created. So now instead of, of uh, push to talk via CAT, we're gonna push to talk via the second serial port via RTS. So in, in this button, in order to be enabled, the test PTT, first we need to test CAT, which is green, it seems to be working. So I'm gonna now transmit, and you see the radio is keying, as you can see uh, in the display of the radio. So everything works fine. So I don't use this, uh, this configuration, I always use PTT via CAT, so I'm gonna leave it in the way that I have it before, but I have two options now. I can PTT via CAT, or if I want to PTT via serial port, I can do it via RTS on the, on the second serial, virtual serial port that I created. So now, uh, what I did, I brought, uh, I opened FLDG, and I'm going to show you in this uh, final test uh, how everything works together and how to set up uh, FLDG. So first, uh, let's take a look at setting up FLDG and then we're going to do a final test. In, in FLDG, uh, you go to the configuration and you go to cut and recut. This is what I use. I use let, me, let me zoom in. I use uh, recut. 
Uh, the um, uh, rig description file is uh, whatever uh, radio you are using. Remember now, we are not using any more OmniRig. Now we are accessing directly to the radio, um, to the virtual uh, serial port that we created. So the device is COM9. It's, uh, it's, it's the same device that we are sharing with OmniRig. And uh, the same speed, 38400. And uh, as you can see here in the, in the settings, uh, even Omni, uh, even FLDG um, has an option for VSP enable, as you can see there close to the initialize button, is the virt virtual serial port enable. So um, uh, FLDG is aware that is uh, connected to a virtual serial port, not a real serial port. And uh, yeah, we will see now how all this uh, works uh, together. So in order to test that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this. We don't need it anymore. I'm going to change the frequency in uh, FLDC. So I went to 7.3. You can see my log for all men, it went to 7.3. My uh, WSJTX uh, uh, went to 7.3. Everything works together, and in the same way, if I uh, change it from uh, from my login software, I go to 74. You you see a change to in in WSJTX change to 74, and FLDC switch to 74. So everything is in sync. Everything is working together and at the same time, and I have no problems to access. Um, the serial ports and even the audio, as you can see here, I'm accessing audio uh, from the radio on FLDG and I'm accessing the audio from uh, the radio on WSJTX uh, for FT8. Okay. In this last part of uh, the video, I'm going to show you the, um, the how you can use auto hotkey scripts to um, to push to talk PTT your radio in case that uh, you want to use your radio hands free like a, with a microphone like this one that I'm using now to for the video I'm using the same microphone for the radio works perfectly perfectly fine and also have a head I have a head a wireless headset that I can use with the radio but uh, the problem is how you uh, push to talk how you PTT I want to show you that to 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 achieve the, that functionality, uh, the auto hotkey uses OmniRig like any of those uh, applications that we have here uh, in this part. So we created, or I created a, an auto hotkey script that uses um, the input of um, of the, the the wheel of the mouse or the middle button of the mouse as a, as a way to PTT, or I can use the um, the calculator key on my keyboard to do that. So, um, what, first of first of all, what is auto hotkey? Auto hotkey is uh, is an uh, is a is a very well known application in IT. Um, it's, it's free open source scripting language for Windows that allows users to easily create a small to complex script for all kind of tasks. And uh, this is basically how they explain what the tool does. Um, the um, the script that I wrote. You can see here is 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 very simple. It has 20, 25 lines. Uh, the first part of the script it does the mouse. The second part of the script does the keyboard. And um, when you press the 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 middle button of the mouse or the wheel, it puts the radio in, in transmission. Or and when you release, it stops transmitting, right? And the same with the key. When you press the key, um, the the calculator key in your keyboard, it it, um, it goes into transmission mode. When you release the key, it stops uh, transmitting. And we will see that also uh, a demo of that. Okay. So to, in order to show you how that works. Um, I'm going to launch the script first, which I have a shortcut here to the script on my desktop. So you can see our hot key is running uh, here in the um, is the third icon from the left is the H means that the script is running in there. 
and uh, I'm going to uh, put uh, Lock for All Men up one more time and uh, let me bring the radio into the screen uh, let me turn on the radio cam and uh, now if I press the middle key on my mouse you see radio goes into transmission mode and the same thing if I press the the calculator key on my keyboard. You see, it works perfectly, it goes into transmission mode and um, and you can use um, practically uh, hands-free uh, your radio, okay? Uh, that's all, that, that's everything that I wanted uh, to share with you guys uh, on, on, on this video. Um, if uh, you haven't subscribed to the to the channel yet please subscribe if you like the video please click uh, the like button and and the bell if you want to get the notification every time i upload a new video and uh, also if you have any comments if you like it or you don't like something uh, that will help me to make a, a better tutorials please uh, leave your comments uh, down below thank you for for watching